Hi, I'm Dan O'Malley from Cisco. I'm Rick the Radio Guy. And Dan, we've been playing a lot today with these uh, Sonom phones. And tell me, what's special about them? Well, they're rugged. Our customers traditionally use a off-the-shelf uh, cellular phone, a mobile phone, and What's nice is they have a push to talk button, they have a front camera, a back camera, and most importantly, it, it's IP68 and IP69 rated. Well, what does that mean, Dan? Well, it means that it's, you can throw it um, from any 10 feet or more, you can submerse it underwater, you can do a lot of abuse to this phone. Well, you know, Dan, it's funny you mention phone abuse because this weekend, I talked to our friend Bob, who provides us the phones, and I asked him for some samples, and I borrowed your phones, and we did a little phone abuse of our own. So if we look over here at the monitor, Dan, you'll see, well, first of all, per Bob's suggestion, I took our phones, and I drove over them with my Jeep. And you can see that not only did I drive over them, I made sure the cameras were facing up, and we've actually got video of the wheels going right over the top of the phone. Now, Dan, I did that about four times to get that take correct, so we know they're pretty darn durable, but wait, that's just one thing. What else might I want to do with a phone? I took it up the ladder as I was doing some things on the roof, and well, Dan, I went to put it back in the holster, and it didn't quite make it. So you can see the phone kind of taking the drop there, down to the hard concrete below and still it's working. Now, I believe they say that it is supposed to be three meters drop test, but uh, you know, that's a little higher than that. Now, this might be something that your facilities people, your folks out in the field, uh, maybe a firefighter, somebody who's a uh, lineman, somebody who's doing rugged service might drop this off their belt. And although we don't recommend you do it, these types of things can happen. Ah, now this video here, the phone got a little bit dirty in some of the testing, so we decided to clean it up. And I know, Dan, that you at one point had familiarity with commercial kitchens. You recognize that dishwasher? That's a commercial dishwasher. That's, that's a Hobart commercial dishwasher. And we put the phone in it. I put another phone facing it. And you can see video from inside the dishwasher. And then you'll see the phone ring. And I open the door, and I take it out, and everything is still working. After a hard day shooting, we go out and we kick back by the pool. I toss the phone out. Oh, okay. Phone goes to the bottom of the swimming pool. Up it comes again. Still working. So, Dan, when we finished up at the swimming pool, we went back home, and unfortunately, this happened in the bathroom. I'll see you later. Bye. And I'm told that this happening in the bathroom is a fairly common thing. And the other thing is, Dan, that was your phone. What? So what I wanted to do here was take your phone, and I've got this solution that I've made here of, uh, this is a quarter cup of bleach going into my gallon of water here. That's a pretty standard sanitizing solution. We'll mix it up really well. We'll put the phone in there. Matter of fact, uh, if you want, you can try talking to it while it's in the... Testing, one, two, three, four, and, and it is receiving. It is receiving. I hear it down there in the tank. We'll, we'll come out. Now, you notice I've got the glove hands on. Testing, one, two, three, four, and you hear me coming out over there. So, Dan, it survived the sanitizing test. And it also has a glove touchscreen mode that you can turn on when you're using gloves, Rick. Absolutely. So there we go. These are the new uh, Sonom XP6, XP7, very rugged, very durable phones available through Cisco. Thank you. And running Cisco Instant Connect. <laughs> All right.